we know that we are going to have a very large space on completion. Uh, the engineers and the consultants in, in, in collaboration with my ministry are uh, coming out with how the space could be, could be uh, profitably utilized. The standard must be consistent with the quality of this project. And I can assure you that nobody, and I'm saying nobody, will be allowed to put up any, any unauthorized, any unnecessary, any dirty structure here. That was the Minister of Roads and Highways, Kwesi Amwakwata, indicating that no trader will be allowed to ply his or her trade around the interchange when the project is completed. Fast forward after the completion and commissioning of the interchange, some recalcitrant traders are found showcasing and selling their wares around the interchange and footbridges. This compelled a tax force from the Ganoth Municipal Assembly and police officers to went back on an exercise to evict such persons. In an interview with City News, consultant for the interchange, Engineer Kwabina Bimpon says the exercise will be a continuous one. According to him, traders risk losing their wares if they do not desist from selling around the interchange. Making is that these are people who may have a few thousand cities and they are investing all this into structures. Now, if you invest into a structure, these um, um, assembly, you know, uh, tax force would come and take it away and that is going to be a loss of your investment so my advice to them is that don't even start it if you have some money go back into the market and trade there instead of you know using the money to build structures uh, along the highway and also on the pavements you are going to lose that investment and you know there are certain times that they come and they pick all your stuff and they send them to the assembly and you'll be required to pay some monies before you uh, they are released to you so this is my urgent plea to them. And I must add that those structures who park under the interchange, they also have to deserve because the National Road Safety Authority with the uh, MTTD are seriously working. And if they are not careful, their vehicles are going to be impounded and they are going to be prosecuted. Engineer Kwabena Bimpon outlined plans for the open spaces beneath the Pokwasa interchange and foot bridges. Yes, we have submitted an unsolicited proposal to the Ministry of Roads and Highways through the Department of Urban Roads. And for those of you who heard the precedent, it is something that is under consideration. And the whole idea is to turn that uh, part of the interchange that is under the interchange into, you know, provide into the provision of um, vehicle parking spaces. Um, would have. Uh, police station, fire station, uh, railway um, station, and you know, and amenities like that. There would also be uh, parts that would have shops and recreational areas. And I believe that this is going to be a PPP arrangement with the government so that the spaces under the interchange will be preserved. They are, we are also greening the area, as I may have mentioned earlier on, that we are greening the area so as to reduce the uh, footprint. We, could, we don't want to just to have a concrete jungle, you know, at Pokwase. Reporting for City News from the Pokwase Interchange, my name is Philip Ni Latte.